All right, so here we are in the Screen Innovations Thunderdome, also the part of our experience here in Austin, Texas, standing in front of a 200-inch diagonal 16x9 Carbon Black Hybrid Pro. Now, we've got a couple versions of Carbon Black. Our favorite go-to, if you will, kind of the 80% rule right now, is the Hybrid Pro. It gives you the very best and deep, 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 deep rich blacks, <laughs> but also it gives you that pop, right? You're seeing the whites, you're seeing the skin tones, you're seeing the colors. We're getting a lot, a lot of pop with both our combination of Carbon Black Hybrid Pro and our uh, Barco UDX Series 32. This is a 32,000 lumen projector, Chris, but we're right now we're shooting at about 20,000 lumens because if I did the full 32,000 lumens, I'm afraid I'd burn a hole right through the wall. <laughs> so that's what's great about Carbon Black. It's a new ambient light rejecting screen material that's been done a very different way. First of all, I wanted to show you on my meter here that I've got eight foot candles of light right here with Chris and I, right? So this is a fairly bright room. It's like, think house of worship, think uh, bright living room, right? And we're giving, look at that right there. One of the hardest things for a projecting screen to produce is black, as blacks, obviously, but also reds. And that red you just saw go by was about as red as you can get. But because we're using carbon black and because carbon black is a woven material, which is different than black diamond and slate. Black diamond and slate are your optical materials mm -hmm. And so because of that, black diamond slate have very defined viewing cones, right? If you step outside of the viewing cone of carbon black or black diamond, you're gonna notice the opposite side of the screen gets very dark very quick. That's how the ambient light rejecting works. With carbon black, yeah. the, it's built in and woven into the, to the material. So I have a stupid wide viewing cone. In fact, I'm standing here with my head up against the wall and I can see the little sparkly thing happening just fine. Yeah, it doesn't matter where you are in the room. No. You're, you're, you're still getting that image. It's perfect. Can't really say that about the other, the other things that are out there to get to some big size, but this is, this is really incredible. Yeah, so think of like less residential, but more commercial. Think house of worship, where normally I'd have to have a screen in the middle, but I'm using a fan seating, so I can't hit those corner pews. I'd have to have put another screen or in another screen. So we'd have three screens going across the stage. Mm -hmm. With carbon black, we do one giant screen and everybody over there and everybody over there and everybody in the middle can see the same image. Mm -hmm. Now, this version that we have of, of Carbon Black Hybrid Pro is with a backer. So if I were to flip this screen around, you'd see a white surface on the back. We also have acoustically transparent. So I could place my Meyer Sound line array directly behind Carbon Black in our house of worship or a live concert gig or a nightclub and again, hide the speakers completely, or I could place my Carbon Black Hybrid Pro acoustically transparent on our masking system, yep. and again, place this in your theater, and then we have what we like to call the black mask, right? Black surface, black uh, frames, everything's black. Man, it just looks incredible. Easier to hit those inky blacks whenever yeah. you're something that's a little darker. Much, much easier. We're gonna turn the lights on and off and do some B-roll for you guys after we get chatting here for a minute. Now let's talk about projector placement. Black diamond and slate, I can only use a long throw projector. The closer the projector gets into its throw, like some of these projectors can still go to a 0.8 all the way back to 1.4, but if I get into that 0.8 throw range, I'm gonna, I'm gonna notice some hot spotting with, with black diamond and slate, right? With carbon black, I can literally place an ultra short throw projector right here, or, or up there. Now that's different, right? We can normally have to do ultra th short throw projectors from shooting low to high with ambient light rejecting screen materials like our ST material. Yep. With carbon black, I can do them, shoot them low and up, or I can do short throw from high and up, or I can do middle throw, <laughs> or I can be, the projector can be all the way to the back of the arena. We can also edge blend. So I can have multiple projectors creating the singular image on the screen. That's something, again, that's very difficult for other ALR materials to do. Carbon black's built for that. Kind of like uh, those Van Gogh pop-ups that are around that have multiple projectors. Exactly. You can have the entire experience mm -hmm. and go seamlessly from left to right. Exactly. Down. Exactly. So don't think of just putting a TV image on carbon black. You want to think atmosphere, right? Because we can make this entire wall one piece of carbon black with, say, a 200-inch image in the middle, and the rest of the framed out area is whatever you want it to look like. Another way to look at carbon black is in a dedicated theater is not only is your image surface, but what about a stretch fabric going down the walls, Yeah. right? I can pull it down that wall, I can pull it down that wall, my speakers are behind it, and then I can put short throw projectors on those walls. So imagine if I had lined that whole wall left and my whole wall right with LEDs, same thing with carbon black. We pull the stretch material across, we fire projectors onto it, and when I walk into my room today, it's the Tuscan room. Tomorrow, it's the Star Wars room. The next day, it's the 
Lord of the Rings room. Man, you just gave me an idea. There you go. <laughs> well, we accept American Express, Visa, and MasterCard. So. <laughs> so there's so many boxes that carbon black checks. Mm -hmm. Really, the only thing to be aware of as a designer is it's, it requires lumens. So like, for instance, what you would put uh, lumens on a black diamond, you need twice that for carbon black. You know, simple math. So for instance, right now, we've got 32,000 lumens available to us. We're using 20,000 lumens of what that projector has. But again, be thinking higher lumens than you're typically used to when it comes to... Oh, lights on. Yeah, exactly. It also requires a 4K, native 4K uh, image. Uh, because it's a woven material, you don't want to go down to 1080p or you run into some more A issues. All right? So there are very little restrictions. The only one being really it needs to be 4K, not a problem. It needs to be bright, again, not a problem. Barco, uh, digital projections, Christie's. Uh, Sony's got the 10,000 lumen residential projector that is fan-freaking-tastic. We can put that on up to a 150-inch diagonal 235 screen and, or up to 120-inch 16 by 9 and absolutely fantastic for the living room or the uh, dedicated theater. But in the commercial environment for your bar and nightclub, for your house of worship, uh, basically this is an LED wall alternative. Mm -hmm. I would put this image up against any LED uh, uh, wall on the market. And remember, the advantage of a projector and screen versus LEDs is you date your projector and screen. You marry your LED, <laughs> right? And what I mean by that is we can put your 4K projector in with your 200 inch screen. A couple of years later, if you want to upgrade your to 8K projector, then to your 12K projector, we give you that path. When you hang an LED wall on the wall, hope you love it because you're married to it. It's never going to change. <laughs> it's going to be the same thing. It's going to stay with the house. This one, Oh, what's the other thing? See, there's so many cool things about carbon black, sometimes I forget to mention. This is actually a foldable material. So if you road warriors out there, we're coming out soon with a fast fold version of this, right? Where you can literally fold, and I've got a picture of this, I'll share it with you so we can put it in the video, where literally this entire screen folds up into a smaller uh, footprint than one of these tiles here. Whoa. Yeah, so also very easy to move. In the commercial world, we're actually talking to uh, some really cool um, shooter gallery guys, all right? So they have a mobile shooting gallery where they set it up in a warehouse and they bring guys in to do shooting training and that kind of thing. So yeah, that's a piece of the ST material. That's probably the coolest demo in all. Uh, yeah, it's a, the <laughs> coolest demo. There you go, let's show, show you what we got here. This is the coolest demo in all of screens because I don't get to do physical demos very often. So what you're seeing over there is white, right? That's what the projector sees when it's looking at our short throw material, not the carbon black, but our short throw material. We'll show you that in a minute. But check this out when I turn it. Right, look at that. So this is ambient light rejection technology specifically for short throw screens. So this leads right into the conversation that now at Screen Innovations, we have a family of ALR solutions. We've got carbon black, we've got ST for short throw, we've got slate, and we've got black diamond. No company on the planet has more ALR alternatives than Screen Innovations, and definitely not, not, no company on the planet has built as many ALR solutions as we have. Black diamond, slate. Yeah. And this is much less uh, reflective. So that's yeah. for, say, like the living room environment where you do have, same thing as like if, if you were to get a micro LED, how they have two different types. Mm -hmm. They have the ones that are super glossy. You and know, then the matte finish. Mat. So mm -hmm. if you have high light environment, this looks like something that would be better there because you don't have to worry about the reflections from up top. Exactly. Or even the windows from around. Yeah. So if, what, if you see the black surface here, what we're talking about is it's a matte finish. It doesn't look wet. You don't have that wet OLED look or that wet LED look, yeah, it looks more natural, more especially with like feathers, <laughs> right? The lips, the skin tones, it really looks, when you're standing this close to it, or even you're standing anywhere in the room, it looks more natural, right? Than any other screen surface I've seen. And again, if you put this up against an LED wall or an OLED, I'd be happy to take that bet. <laughs> I think we've got a winner here. So you not, again, you notice with all these lights on, there's absolutely no glare on the screen at all. So no glass, no Lexan, no glare, right? So super wide viewing cone, Place the projector short, medium, long on the floor or on the roof, acoustically transparent or not, rollable, foldable, and 16 feet native in height and 99 feet long native in length. However, if you want to make it bigger, I can sew it. So that's another thing versus LEDs. If you break my screen and just sew it, <laughs> sew it and fix it, right? We did the uh, Adele show at Caesars Palace with Carbon Black a 90 foot Adele image back there, mm -hmm. right? And that was just, we just sewed it, right? Not a problem there at all. Adele saved over $2 million a show. And we got this posted on our website. She actually helped write the, uh, 
the review on Carbon Black. She was so impressed with the stuff. She used this instead of an LED wall for her uh, residency at Caesars Palace recently. And that's because, again, the whole stage was nothing but Carbon Black. Line arrays behind it, things were moving out, but it was all done with projectors and carbon black. In fact, it was only five projectors on the whole system. It's incredible. Yeah, and it's an amazing image. In fact, Jamie, a good friend of ours at JVC, I, was, I showed her the picture from the Adele show, and Jamie, before she knew we were even talking about carbon black, goes, oh, I was just at that show. That was one of the best images I've ever seen. I was like, well, this is what we used at that show. Yeah. So it's great for you know, Adele. It's also great for you. You can have the exact same experience that Adele had at Caesars Palace, but you can have it in your residential home theater, your house of worship, your bar or nightclub, your conference room. So I guess that's it, huh? Yeah, man. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, we, oh, one thing I do want to let you guys know out there in our professionals community, we do not send out little tiny samples like we've always done before. We don't send out little tiny samples of carbon black because it, it, it doesn't work right for doing it with a little sample. So if you're really super interested, you're always welcome to come down here to Austin and check it out. But uh, for dealers, all right, we will send you out a built 115 inch diagonal carbon black built. It comes in a giant pizza box. So if you've been a screen innovations dealer, you know we've got these old pizza boxes back there. You literally take the, the screen out of the pizza box, either hang it on the wall or we can send you a stand and then you can fire a projector up because you kind of got to see it in a full size to get what it's doing, right? So look at that. The reds, again, very difficult for screens to produce. Again, we're getting super great reds. And again, not that glossy, shiny kind of wet finish. So yeah, carbon black, available now. <laughs>